So now in this session, remaining topics of uh, unit one, I will cover up. So here, a uh, one point eight given, positive versus norm normative economics. So what it is uh, positive economics and what it is uh, normative economics, and uh, what are the differences in between these two? So here, positive economics it is concerned with only formulating economic laws and describing reality of the economic system. It means it only describes the behavior of different uh, economic units uh, in the economic system only and it uh, tries to formulate uh, different economic laws. But in case of normative economics, here it is judgment regarding uh, the economic system. It, means, uh, it tells whether the economic system it is working uh, better or not. Uh, how things can be improved, what different methods can be applied to improve things. It means it tells about whether the present or current or economic system it is right or not. If there is some kind of problem, some kind of issues, then how those issues can be resolved. So that's about normative economics. Okay. So next one it is microeconomics and macroeconomics. 1.9 Microeconomics and Macroeconomics Okay So microeconomics first So microeconomics uh, What it is So it deals uh, with individual economic units. Okay. The behavior of individual elements or individual uh, say elements in the economic system. Okay. So it deals. So here we can write down deals with single a uh, single economic uh, element and uh, the economic element it may be the firm it may be a household or it may be or uh, uh, you can say an individual so these all are economic e elements so it deals with this uh, all just like whether from so how firms, households, or any individual make decision, rational decision uh, regarding the uh, um, economy means uh, how they are going to behave under different uh, economic uh, systems and uh, different economic constraints, how they are going to behave. So that kind of behavior can uh, be studied under microeconomics. Then second one so in simple word we can say that microeconomics it is the study of economic system at micro level at very small level at household level at uh, firm level or you can say at individual level okay so these things come under microeconomics so it deals with a uh, single individual it deals with the uh, behavior I mean, uh, how uh, a particular individual behaves or how a particular individual um, particular business or firm behaves under different economic constraint so these things come under microeconomics and then uh, we move on to another one that is macroeconomics in the case of macroeconomics uh, we can say this covers a great aggregate we can say aggregate aggregates or it is aggregates an average of economic system. So here macro means at large level. At large level. When we combine you know, many firms, many individuals, many household, and then we aggregate these all, and then if we uh, consider different economic constraints and how those uh, constraints are going to affect the whole means economic system at large level, then that can come under macroeconomics 
so that's what here so for instance so how we can uh, differentiate in between micro and non macro economics so micro example we can give uh, a particular form that we can you know, talk as uh, whatever it is is uh, economic behavior of the form that uh, can be studied under microeconomics but uh, if it is the behavior of the whole industry then that it comes under microeconomics we study uh, macroeconomics in case of whole industry so if we analyze uh, the behavior of the, the whole industry then uh, that it can that can be studied uh, under macroeconomics then uh, next come the term you know, stocks and flows so next here so what are stocks and what are flows so when we study economic class system then uh, we come across various different kinds of variables so here a stock it is also kind of variable okay that is what we can say a stock is a kind of variable uh, which can be measured only with reference to a particular point of time what is this one a kind of variable because in when we study when we analyze different economic system then different uh, kinds of variables we deal with okay so and uh, if uh, some of those so whatever variables uh, can be measured with reference to a particular point of time then those variables can be called as what stocks so i think i should write down variables a variable which can be measured which can be measured using or we can say measured only with reference to only only with reference to a point of time to a point of time So variables which can be measured only with reference to a point of time. So those variables can be uh, called as stocks variable. And flow, what is this one? Which can be measured only with reference to a period of time. And what is this one? Variables. which can be measured only with reference to a period of time okay stocks here are kind of variable which can uh, be measured with reference to a particular point of time and the flows are variable variables which can be measured only with reference to a period of time so it will be clear if i illustrate this one if i explain this one with uh, examples person does not have an income at a point of time a person does not have income at a point of time but in a period of time it may be for one month in one month how much a person get income or in one year how much what is the income so here it 
takes a period of time. So in from whenever we say the or you can say whenever we say uh, about income that it is uh, related to a period of time, not a particular point of time. Okay, but uh, if we talk about to take uh, take example of the supply of money. Okay, supply of money. That is, uh, you can say, and the wealth. So, wealth or supply means at a particular point of time, what, whatever it is, the wealth. So, you can measure wealth uh, with reference to a particular point of time. Okay. So that's why we can say that wealth it comes as stocks, and uh, income that comes so uh, inside flow means flow. We can say here. Income, it is, it can be called as a kind of flow, and uh, well, it can be called as stock. Okay. So then now uh, the next one, it is given as static and dynamics. So what here? One point one one. Statics and dynamics. So, what are the statics and dynamics? So here, uh, starting we are talking about different uh, models. This model, here, yeah, economic models. So, an economic model it is uh, static, in which case, and uh, an economic model it is dynamic, in which case. So that's what I'm going to explain. Here, in case of a static model, there is no need of date. Okay, it means it is not dated. So, in simpler word, we can say static model or theory. In static model or theory, the variables are not dated. So, here what we can say in a static model or Theory. Variables are not dated. It means in case of a static a model or theory, so there is no need uh, to mention uh, the date or the time here in case of static uh, model. Okay, but in case of dynamic model, there is the requirement of both mentioning the date or if you can say variables are dated. Just opposite to this one, we can say that is dynamic. So how we can now uh, explain this with examples? That's what I'm going to explain you. So here, here you will know the demand depends. The model of the that we can say a kind of model in which uh, the demand depends on its own price. Okay, on on price in this case there is no need uh, of uh, we can say time reference. No need of to mention the date. Whenever the price changes, then the demand will <coughs> also change. So that is that is a kind of. We can say example related to a static model, and uh, here the second one with an <coughs> second one it is dynamic model. Here when uh, the relevant variables are dated, and when uh, the variables require date, then in that case uh, we can say the model is dynamic model. Okay, then we have so in equation form we can. Uh, uh, write down so the condition of dynamic that it requires uh, time reference or here it is uh, about uh, that it should be dated variable should be dated so here this is just like uh, here dt equals so f that is the function of price t so demand Demand is a function of 
price. So demand here is given equals, or you can say the demand is a function of price. If we change price, then demand will change. So now you can see that it is So here at a time, whenever uh, price changes, then in that case, demand also changes. So here yeah, this is not right now, it is not, uh, so this is the case. Then we have dynamic models according to the definition where. So how we can say on the, in which case we can say that a particular model it is dynamic or static. There must be some kind of condition which uh, must be fulfilled. Okay. So that we have to keep in our mind that in a static model or a static theory, the variables are not dated but in dynamic model here uh, dating it is required. It means a variable, whatever we use, those variables are dated. 